I'm, I play Jacobs, and um, I'm married to Daniels. And um, as far as I know, we're very uh, much in love. And um, I've gone on this mission together. I guess we're fortunate enough to to be married and work together. Um, and um, yeah, we have big plans for the future. I think what happens, you know, when you make as many movies as Ridley's done and, and work with, you know, all the best and you are <laughs> the best that, you know, you um, you have great confidence in what you what you want and what you need. And so there's a deceptively um, easy vibe on the set um, because he can sort of pinpoint exactly what he wants from, you know, in, in every department and with the actors and, you know, and so um, you just sort of aim for that and, and he can get everyone there with a very um, easy kind of touch. You know, sci-fi horror is a, its own particular thing and I think Alien is one of the movies that really define that genre and Sometimes with horror movies, you'll have these villains or monsters that are fantastical. And, you know, if I think back to the horror movies that were made around, you know, a similar time, or when I was watching Alien, you know, um, Freddy Krueger and Jason, you know, were maybe other horror villains. And you look at them now and you think, well, it's kind of silly. But because there's this kind of sci there's this sci-fi background to the to the monsters in these films they in a way can feel more realistic that oh maybe that could actually happen and there's such a seriousness to the lead you know the protagonists in each film that when they're up against these villains you feel like oh this is they're taking it so seriously that the audience is forced to take it seriously.